and we are at the airport. We are heading to Paris again and I'm so excited to take you with me. We are gonna do a bunch of shopping, a little bit of sightseeing in Paris, and I'm gonna bring you shopping around the airport, a couple of luxury shops just to share with you before we head off, so enjoy. I always have to go through the duty-free and spray on some perfume. Does anyone else do this? Okay, good parts are mess. Let's go in. I love the jewelry section. The YVR airport for Hermes is quite small, but they always have actually really nice things. The shepherds, obviously we love them. I just got white Arons for the summer and I'm so happy about them. They're such classics for anything. And one day I might get the ones with the black heels, but for now I'm really happy with the sandals. Is there any accessories that you're peeking at at Hermes? I think the sneakers, they're not really quite my thing. They look like they're really active looking. It's just like a little bit too much for me. I think if anything, I would get these ones for sneakers. The ones with that Kelly buckle in the front. I really like those, but I do know, I feel like they also look like, you know, Stan Smiths from Adidas. Some classic accessories, great for like luggage tags. And I would love like a porcelain collection one day, but I'm sure I will break them. So maybe not. Little baby section from Hermes, super cute. A couple little things at Bulgari. I didn't end up trying any jewelry. Just looked at the bags. The colors were super, super fun. And in Ferragamo, I don't really enjoy this brand as much as I did before. I think I have one or two Ferragamo bags and shoes, but they're like vintage, like the bags are vintage. Like this bag was okay. Like I thought the shape, the structure was really interesting. And I think it was like there's like a couple influencers or like I think Kathy Jenner was like modeling that ombre this bag. But I'm not sure how I feel about it in general. I think Ferragamo has kind of fallen off most people's radar and most of the time, especially at the YVR shop here, everything's usually like, not everything, but there's definitely a section that's like 30% off, 40% off, and sometimes even 50% off. But I did like this straw like raffia bag, but I like anything straw. This was actually really nice and this is such a good idea to display scars with the magnets in the corner. This was one bag at Burberry I thought was just so pretty. I know everyone from Prada um, has done crystals but this I like the shape and I like how all the crystals were square. Really cute. I do like actually I would say I prefer Burberry a bit over Ferragamo. What do you guys think about the two different brands? So Tory Burch is a quick look. This Sherling one was super pretty and all the shoes and flats here were 50% off. I do find if you like shopping, like these long shop bags, 50% off. If you like shopping, the YVR um, shops before the international flights do have some good sales sometimes. So that was really nice. Like this is Montclair, which is pretty newly opened. A couple of cute things. Like I really like these slides. I never really want to pay this much for like plastic slides like at least give me some leather which is one of the reasons why I like the Hermes sandals so much but these are so kind of cute puffy kind of reminds me of Yeezys. Welcome to Paris and I'm so excited we are now in Paris and I am going to show you my hotel room a little bit because it's so gorgeous it's one of my favorite hotels in Paris granted it's actually not so Parisian it's like very very like modern and updated the bed the interior here is so beautiful and I actually love like the herringbone flooring the mirrors and the bathroom everything is like super updated can you tell get the vibes 
so pretty. Well, I am excited to head out now, do some shopping, and honestly, I'm so jet lagged right now. Also, probably a little bit of resting before we head out. This hotel is the Hoxton. I think even if you don't stay here, because it is a little bit pricey, especially at high season, they have like breakfast here that's really quite nice because it's in the courtyard and um, they do have like bar and restaurant at nighttime. So let's head out. I always love the architecture around Paris. Just walking around is so amazing and the weather was so good. It's like sometimes a hit or miss but it's so pretty. This restaurant is so interesting. It's like a fusion like Japanese restaurant in Paris. Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful area. It says it's a little shopping mall, gallery, gallery. It looks like a small little shops and restaurants, like antique bookshops, art shops, but the interior is so beautiful. Kind of a really nice, gorgeous walkthrough in the second district of Paris. Can you look at that? Oh my god, the architecture here. Oh my gosh, look at these wines. They're like half my size. They're so big. These like wine bottles, they're huge. This is so cool. I love the doors of this. Okay, I just had a little bit of a frustrating moment. It's so hard. If you want to eat at a specific place at a restaurant, don't be like me and book last minute because of course I did that. I tried to book for a restaurant like the night of and my I finally like found one and the restaurant like canceled the reservation on me. So I was like desperately trying to find another one and I finally found another one, but this one's like more expensive but hopefully they don't cancel me again so i'm just gonna head there now because i'm so hungry i'm like starving and the thing is is that i don't mind that it's like a different restaurant now but this one is like a little more expensive and i'm dressed in leggings this is right at republic we're walking to another restaurant hopefully this one works out Okay, success. I am now officially here. This is a French Japanese fusion restaurant and I got it on my house for a four set. So let me show you what this is. There is this tomato base and then this edamame puree with wagyu beef and some bread for the table. actually way better than I imagine. It's a crab salad and it actually tastes so fresh. I personally love this. This looks amazing for the fish course. I'm so excited to try this. Everything is so good. I love that crab one. This is the last main course. The fish was okay. I wouldn't say it was spectacular, but it wasn't bad. I'm really excited for this Angus beef. The beef is absolutely killing it. It's so good. It's actually so tender. I'm surprised, but I really like this. Like, really, really good. I already have such high hopes for this one. I love black sesame. This one's a black sesame mask with some raspberries. I am a little bit red from the alcohol and my allergies are acting up so much I can't even breathe through my nose and I was like sneezing the whole time in the restaurant. It's like pretty expensive and like the food was good but I don't know if it was worth like exactly the price that it was. But it's like definitely really good food though. The first amuse bouche where there was like that wagyu piece, that was absolutely amazing. And that was like really high expectations and it met it. And like the beef was pretty decent. But I wouldn't say every single dish was like up there. Do you know what I mean? 
I really liked the dessert and I always have a soft spot for dessert and especially because it was black sesame and I love black sesame. The dishes came out too fast. It was like the dish came and then they took it away like the empty plate and my new dish of food would come like within a minute like maybe it's good if i'm like super hungry even like a five minute breather would have been nice because it doesn't feel like because it's so fast it almost feels like they're just churning it out like factory style instead of like a makaske really prepping it for you and like my ice cream when it came out like the last dessert dish the ice cream was like a little bit melty like it was sitting on the counter for like a minute or two but like why do you need to bring it out so like why do you need to scoop it in advance like it literally takes like probably a minute to scoop it and i'd rather have my ice cream like frozen than like melting do you know what i mean but overall i do like it and if you can find a restaurant in town that you can make reservations at which was the problem that i had i actually don't think that this was a bad one but just like it is a little bit pricier but overall i liked it and i enjoyed it we didn't actually go to any shops today but maybe i'm sure we will go to shops tomorrow have a good night and i will see you again tomorrow this is the courtyard of my hotel it's like a little bit interesting but i was definitely hungry earlier you have to walk through this mini little like cigarette break area um, before I can get to my room.